Hello everyone, welcome back once again to this new tarot reading. Um, uh, today I'm going to continue with uh, icon individual uh, reading for the members. So I'm going to do uh, Jay's uh, reading today. Um, I believe he is my bias. He potentially could be my bias uh, just because I find him very cute and there's something about him that I, I just find so attractive and I I cannot figure out exactly why um, because I don't see him like having this actually very like distinctive maybe personality among the members actually i think that he's a bit like silent uh but nevertheless uh he has beautiful face beautiful features beautiful uh a beautiful face i'm a i'm a i'm a sucker for beautiful faces i i admit it i love beautiful faces in males um so let's talk a bit about his energy from what i could see about his spirit chart he's uh in aquarius um with a moon in Capricorn and he has a, a other planets in Aquarius at the same time so he is an interesting mix. Um, I believe that he also has a Mercury in Pisces um, but yes there's something about him that actually doesn't remind me of actually moon in Capricorn. Uh, for example when I did uh, chance uh, reading I could see even though he's all he's uh, an Aquarius too I could definitely see Capricorn traits in him especially physical traits like he gave me really Capricorn vibes but in the case of Jay I don't I actually I I don't see it but well you know the moon like I always say their traits are very personal and are very are very uh, intimate, so you don't show those traits to everyone. Uh, so, but I have the feeling that since he has like a lot of planets in in Aquarius, he has a lot of Aquarius energy because there's something about him that just gives me like this this kind of uh, personality where he. He's actually, um, it's like he sometimes he seems like he's not really present in the room or maybe when he is with everyone, it seems like he his mind is elsewhere or that he uh, maybe doesn't engage that much with others, that he enjoys spending time with the group, that he is part of the group and that he is comfortable, but he is more of the enjoying himself and just being himself and just like be chilling about it just be chilling there he he's not that um uh, outgoing or maybe like uh over the top expressive uh which also could be the combination of being an aquarius and a capricorn because there's also what i could see that maybe could have a bit to do with moon in capricorn is the sense of maybe the fact that he is silent or the fact that he seems like he is a, a bit of emotionless like it sometimes it seems like he doesn't have a lot of emotions or that he doesn't feel that much or at least at least is what he wants us to see or maybe to believe um sometimes to actually get a moon in capricorn to express them their feelings is really hard it's really hard. Uh, it's not easy to get to know them. And actually, if they have some kind of sentiment or feeling toward you, they are not going to be expressive about it. They are not going to be lovey-dovey with you. They they tend to be very shy, a bit awkward when it comes to maybe being affectionate or being open about how they feel for someone but they tend to do they tend to actually uh, make a lot of actions or gestures that that uh, can make you believe that they have some kind of interest in you in the sense that if they do like practical 
uh, chores for you or if they want to help you with something or if they want to advise you or maybe they are they do some they give you some kind of feedback or they um I don't know they just are sitting there just listening to you without saying a word that's that's a, a, a actually a proof of their love and appreciation because let me tell you if Capricorn doesn't like you and if if they don't uh, if you are not important to them they will not pay attention to you and they will definitely not spend more time than necessary with you they will just get up and leave if they just are not interested so maybe they will not be very open or verbal to be like oh yes I like you but just the fact that they are near you or that they are present in there with you uh, it means that they care so you definitely have to to be also very um, understanding and 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 being uh also very uh, um, to have patience with them because it's not easy for them to open up because they fear rejection so much and sometimes they just like a moon in Virgo the same thing happens they they tend to be really hard harsh on themselves they tend to be they are always thinking about new ways to improve themselves, to make, to be a better version of themselves. Sometimes they have a lot of responsibilities on their shoulders. So this is why maybe they don't talk too much or they don't interact too much because it's like they are really busy uh, in their mind trying to figure out a new plan or a new way of doing things. So even though they don't, express it with words sometimes they worry about the future and they worry a lot so let's go with the archetype cards that that came out for him he got the card of the lover uh, the samaritan and the storyteller so yes in the first card the card of the lover it means that despite of him maybe having like this kind of cold exterior he actually is a lover he actually is someone that Probably in this sense, uh, with this lover archetype, it would mean that actually he doesn't like um, arguments, that he doesn't like to have arguments with people, he doesn't like to uh, to start fights, he doesn't like to come off as aggressive, maybe he doesn't like people that are aggressive as well, so he kind of try to maybe... Um, um make things work or make things better by being loving or trying to be uh, open to love or open to reconciliation or open to uh, somehow come to an agreement without violence i think that um and that sometimes that the lover archetype it means that uh, there's a part of him that he is a true romantic and that he does believe that somehow love conquers everything is that he has this kind of fantasy inside of him where he thinks that love can can heal anything or or that if you have love you can conquer anything so he is a romantic at heart. He is a romantic. And probably he dreams about romance a lot. Um, and with the Samaritan here, it means that uh, that he's really open to help others. Especially he, he likes to help people that uh, are very different from him. And this also talks about his him being an Aquarius son. You know, Aquarius, they love to meet different people they love to uh, meet uh, uh, to get to know different ethnicities or maybe different backgrounds different histories they are not judgmental they try to be as open-minded as possible but there's a part of him that also wants to help he wants to use his influence somehow to help to improve someone's lifestyle so he he would probably be someone that he would get out of his way 
to help to go and help a stranger for example or to help someone that is being ignored or that no one is noticing or that people are rather ignoring this this person because it's 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 not a good image or or they are they don't get benefits of it so but he sees everything and he he sees that there are people that don't have privilege and he wants to help that people I have the feeling that he could also be donate money or like uh, participate in some kind of charity but i think that if he does he would probably do it on a very uh, secretive like kind of way i don't think that if he does or if he gives something to the co to the community i don't think he would want people to find out so maybe if he does it or if he has this kind of gestures probably he does it under a fake name or or in someone else's name because he doesn't want um he doesn't want recognition he doesn't want applause he he doesn't want nothing he just he wants to do what's right and what he feels he feels that he needs to be, to get back because somehow he feels really fortunate to be to be doing what he does but he recognizes that not everyone gets the same chance and he would like to contribute uh as much as possible but i don't see him like wanting to take uh recognition out of it i think that he feels a bit awkward with that with that side of fame you know because sometimes um famous people do like these charity events or stuff and you know that uh, eventually everything com comes back to them it's like oh yes look look what this this idol or this celebrity did they gave so much or oh, they 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 did this for this school or this and that and it all end up to be publicity for them as well so and in this case i think that he feels comfortable with that he just wants to get to give uh, as much as possible and doesn't want i mean he if he feels like he doesn't need the recognition that um that he wants to do it uh from a place of of gratitude and he doesn't need that gratitude to come back to him because he feels already blessed. Um, and the last card is the storyteller. So uh, he is uh, he's someone that he has a lot of imagination and it's someone that he could potentially write a good story, maybe a good biography about his life, about the group, about their experiences, uh, I think he has a lot of anecdotes. He he has um he's very good with words, but actually I don't see him like using those words as a way to actually I see him like for him to communicate how he really feels, he is really awkward about it. Um there's something about him that sometimes he cannot get things out of his chest because he he is afraid that people will judge him or that people will not understand him um he sometimes feels different to others he feels a bit lost somehow i think that he is uh, i believe he is the oldest member uh, but somehow there's something about him that he feels really lonely there's something about him that, and I and I I was seeing it also in in the tarot cards, that he feels really lonely sometimes. He feels a bit misunderstood. So maybe if he had ever an intention to open up and talk about his feelings, he somehow felt like it was not the right thing to do, or maybe the the timing wasn't right. So he it's like every time he wants to say something, it's not the right time. So somehow he had been keeping all this stuff inside of himself. So maybe to write about it or to do some kind of biography or to inspire himself to write some lyrics uh, would be a good way for him to channel all these things he want to he needs to get out of his chest. And it's also a very it's a very healing action and at the same time it could it could be 
uh, it could be good for the group and it could be uh, good for himself because I think that there are moments where he thinks that uh, that maybe he's been he's been too sensitive but it's because he does have feelings and he is uh, sensitive and he has emotions so it's normal that sometimes he can feel overwhelmed by all the things that he cannot say or all the things that he sometimes is like he's he's like uh he's like delaying the the, the fact that he needs to speak up or he needs to uh be able to to talk and put into words some things that he feels about himself because I have the feeling that they went through so much and that he somehow with this silence is because he doesn't want to worry the others or he doesn't want the others to get up to get sad or get worried about him or get upset but sometimes he is tired and sometimes he feels like he lacks motivation to do things and he just does it uh, in an automatic mode, he does it. He sometimes acts like on an automatic pilot, almost seems, because sometimes he feels really. He feels like he has lost the joy of of being an artist. They went through a lot. They went through a lot of uh, periods where they felt judged, where they felt like they weren't good enough, and he's also a perfectionist. And I think that. He's constantly thinking about what he could go, what he could do better. And there are some things that sometimes things happen that you cannot help or that you cannot control. So maybe for him, it would be nice to forgive himself and let go of things of the past because those things are not coming back and, you know, and the opportunity is gone. So he needs to focus more more on one, what he can do and how can he can improve himself in order to open up a little bit in his personal relationships so he can um, he can go better with this uh, feeling of alienation like he feels like an alien he feels like uh, like like he's different, I don't know, but that's part of in Aquarius also. So let's go with the tarot cards. He got the five of cups, the ten of swords, the five of swords, seven of wands, knight of swords, eight of swords, knight of cups, wheel of fortune, justice, and ten of cups. Thank God, thank God, because it it started really bad, in the sense that it started really depressing almost in the sense that this is what I was referring a moment ago I, I was just I, I think I mentioned the storyteller archetype but this storyteller led me to other other message that I was getting about him and I think that this has to do with the tarot cards that are here because <laughs> I'm not saying he's depressed but he definitely has been dealing with some kind of anxiety or with some kind of insomnia, feeling really guilty, feeling really sad sometimes. He feels, actually it's not about being sad, it's about feeling numb emotionally, like you cannot feel or like you you are like in this uh, in this very low point of your life where you cannot see the end. You cannot see the way out. You can only see darkness. I think he, he definitely has these moments where he feels really down, where he feels really, uh, really sad. Um, and it's not this sadness of wanting to cry. Actually, it's this sadness of not feeling anything or of feeling emptiness or feeling numbness. And that's actually, for me, it's a sign of, of that it's a bit more deep, it's a bit deeper 
and then 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 maybe a panic attack because the panic attack has its symptoms so you can spot right away that the person is going through that situation but when someone is going through this this kind of numbness where they are not being expressive or they are just absent or maybe they are just there like interacting with you but somehow they just have the same presence like the same they they are just there it's like you cannot tell if they are being themselves if they are paying attention to you or not so i think that he had been struggling with this for a long time i think he every time someone confronts him about it actually not confronts him but actually it's like are you okay like what's going on with you like do you need help uh do you want to talk about it like he goes in this in this defensive mode like he just like puts he, his cards up like he definitely like doesn't want to deal with it and he and and he he doesn't want to be judged by it i think that he he has this feeling that it will go away that he somehow will learn to overcome it by himself but i think he needs someone to talk to i think he needs some some professional to talk to uh here with the knight of swords the eight of swords and the knight of cups i think that in this next month he definitely because it it is this condition actually gets worse with uh uh when we are when he is in on periods of a lot of stress so like i was saying i feel like he feels really responsible for the group or he feels like he has to keep up this this uh image or this uh um or this attitude of being okay and of being like yes like we will make it yes like everything is okay like yes i'm here like i i'm not i'm not leaving you i'm here like i'm staying strong i'm staying here like because this is very like i was saying this is very moon in capricorn this is very like i'm a rock like i'm not a human being i am a rock so i'm going to stay firm here nobody is moving is 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 taking me away from my place because i have stuff to do i have responsibilities i have to to be there for the group but somehow he's not paying attention to himself he's not paying attention to his personal needs maybe to some kind of uh uh sadness very deep sadness that he he had been feeling for a while and he had been trying to avoid feeling like he has these moments where he tries to realize that he is not really happy that he's not really enjoying the moment but somehow he thinks that is because you know like he knows the he industry like they went through so much like he thinks that maybe it's because he's tired because of exhaustion but no it's more like a personal state of being um he's really sad so i think that after this is this competition maybe it's over i think there will be someone that will be coming toward him someone that he trust someone that is a bit uh, more emotional uh probably someone that it's a bit uh, more understanding and that is very soft spoken or that has this empathic ability so he can connect with this person and open up so probably this person will allow him to actually recognize that he has a problem or that he feels lonely or that there's something that is not right um and this could also be a female i mean this or this could also be a potential romantic uh romantic partner for him because it's someone that i'm sure um I'm sure it's not going to be someone that is going to be like, "Oh yes, my love is going to heal you." Like, yes, we should start dating because if if we start dating, you're going to be happy with me. No, I think that this person and him actually have some kind of bond. Maybe they are friends and then 
they will eventually develop to something more. But I think that this person knows him. So maybe if this person has already feelings for him, um, he, this person will not show it or will not let those feelings get in the way of actually like getting into a relationship or getting into a very intimate connection with him while he is in this vulnerable state. Because I think that the wiser thing to do, despite of them maybe liking each other and despite of them having a romantic connection, it's actually for him to get better or to get help by himself and to go through the process of healing himself and of recovery. And then after he feels himself again, then he can think about probably starting a love relationship with someone. But not before, not before he, he, he does this process because it's something very personal and it's something that it has to do with himself. So if he includes or if he gets someone else involved in the mix, it's going to get really nasty for that relationship because he's going to enter that relationship with a lot of fear, with a lot of insecurities, with a lot of needs to also evade the problem, evade the issue. So he could potentially take this relationship as as hostage in order to deny that he has the problem, you know? So if it, it would be better if he first he heals himself and then he thinks about uh, getting involved romantically with someone. Um, and then here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Justice, I think that he will definitely, after he takes care of this and after he starts going to therapy or talking to someone, getting these things out of his chest, out of his system, I believe that he will get better. And with the Wheel of Fortune is that his fortune is going to start like moving, like changing. So he definitely is going to feel, is going to enter a phase where he will feel a bit more lighter and a bit happier and more fortunate about himself. He will start seeing some kind of balance between his mind and his heart. Uh, and he will start feeling again. And he will start enjoying things again. And here with the last card that is the Ten of Cups, that it's a beautiful card because it talks about emotional fulfillment. Especially emotional fulfillment, not only in your personal relationships, I mean in your romantic relationship, but also in in your relationships in general with your loved ones. I think and I have the feeling that he he him being in this very low uh, energy or in this very negative kind of uh, a pattern of behavior that he's in, he's not able to connect with his loved ones. So he's like distancing himself emotionally from his loved ones. He doesn't realize that he, he do it, he does it, but he, he has been doing this for a while. And he had been blaming that it, oh, it's because of work, it's because of stress, it's because of the group. And no, it's something that, yes, it could have to do with, with the group and everything that they went through. But at the same time, it's something that it has to do with his own vulnerability and with his own issues as a man. So he needs to take care of that because uh, mental health, you know, like I always say, you need to take care of that as soon as possible. Don't let it choose, uh, don't, don't like put it under the carpet, just deal with it. I know it's painful, but just deal with it because then some... Then this happens, relationships get ruined, opportunities get ruined because you are not you are not being yourself. You are you are in a very low uh, uh, vibrational kind of frequency and you're feeling really bad about yourself. So you are not seeing you are not seeing the possibilities. You are like spoiling everything. So here with the Ten of Cups is a beautiful card to 
actually uh, end this reading and I think that he will find happiness with his loved ones and he will be able to reconnect with them and to have like maybe more meaningful and profound connection and com communication with them because he had been a bit absent and a bit uh, a bit numbed a bit a bit apathic you know like he he had been really distant with them and and I think that after he go through this this process of healing himself he will start to get closer to them and and he will start uh, enjoying himself more enjoying other people's company and also enjoying his life so this is the reading that I got for Jay I'm glad it ended in a good note so I'll see you in the next video guys thank you for being here as always bye